Lev Ivanovich Yashin, Russian, comma October 22, 1929, March 20, 1990, nicknamed the Black Spider or the Black Panther, was a Soviet Russian football goalkeeper, considered by many to be the greatest goalkeeper in the history of the game. He was known for his athleticism in goal, imposing stutter and reflex saves. He was also deputy chairman of the Football Federation of the Soviet Union. Yashin earned iconic status for revolutionizing the goalkeeping position by stamping his authority on the entire defense. He shouted orders at his defenders, came off his line to intercept crosses and also ran out to meet onrushing attackers, done at a time when goalkeepers spent the 90 minutes standing in the goal waiting to be called into action. His performances made an indelible impression on a global audience at the 1958 World Cup, the first to be broadcast internationally. He dressed head to toe in black, thus earning his nickname the Black Spider, which enhanced his popularity. Yashin appeared in four World Cups from 1958 to 1970 and in 2002 was chosen on the FIFA Dream Team of the History of World Cups. In 1994 he was chosen for the FIFA World Cup All-Time Team, and in 1998 was chosen a member of the World Team of the 20th Century. According to FIFA, Yashin saved over 150 penalty kicks in professional football, more than any other goalkeeper. He also kept over 270 clean sheets in his career, winning a gold medal at the 1956 Olympic football tournament, and the 1960 European Championships. In 1963, Yashin received the Ballon d'Or, the only goalkeeper ever to receive the award. He was voted the best goalkeeper of the 20th century by the IFS. Early Life Yashin was born in Moscow to a family of industrial workers. When he was 12, the Second World War forced him to turn to factory work to aid in the war effort. He was sent to work in a military factory in Moscow, where he played for its football team. It was there that he was spotted and invited to join the Dynamo Moscow youth team. Career Dynamo Moscow Yashin's debut for Dynamo came in 1950 in a friendly match. It was not the debut he would have hoped for, as he conceded a soft goal scored straight from a clearance by the opposing keeper. That year he played in only two league games, and did not appear in a senior match again until 1953. But he remained determined, and stayed at Dynamo in the reserves waiting for another opportunity. Yashin also played goalie for the Dynamo ice hockey team during those early years of trying to break into the senior squad. He managed to win a USSR Ice Hockey Cup in 1953 and was third in the USSR Ice Hockey Championship as goalkeeper. He spent his professional football career with Dynamo Moscow, from 1950 to 1970 winning the USSR Football Championship five times and the USSR Cup three times. Yashin's club teammate, rival and mentor was Alexei Tiger Komik, the keeper of the Soviet national team, who had become famous for his role in Dynamo Moscow's British tour. He also internally rivaled goalkeeper Walter Seneya, who left the club in 1953. National Team in 1954, Yashin was called up to the national team, and would go on to gather 78 caps. With the national team he won the 1956 Summer Olympics and the 1960 European Championship. He also played in three World Cups, in 1958, 1962 and 1966. Yashin is credited with four clean sheets out of the 12 games he played in the World Cup Finals. The 1958 World Cup, played in Sweden, 
put Yashin on the map for his performances, with the Soviet Union advancing to the quarterfinals. In a group stage match against the eventual cup winners Brazil, which the Soviet team lost 2-0, Yashin's performance prevented the score from becoming a rout. He was selected into the All-Star team that World Cup. In 1962, despite suffering two concussions during the tournament, he once again led the team to a quarter-final finish, before losing to host country Chile. That tournament shows that Yashin was all too human, having made some uncharacteristic mistakes. In the game against Colombia, which the Soviet Union was leading 4-1, Yashin let in a few soft goals, including a goal scored by Marcos Call directly from a corner kick, the first and the only goal scored directly from a corner in FIFA World Cup history. The game finished in a 4-4 tie, which led the French newspaper Le Quipe to predict the end of Yashin's career. He did, however, make an outstanding save against Chile in the quarter-final. Despite this, the Soviet Union suffered a 2-1 defeat and were eliminated from the World Cup. Despite the disappointment of the 1962 World Cup, Yashin would bounce back to win the Ballon d'Or in 1963. One of his best performances that year was the Fosentenary match when he appeared in the rest of the world 11 apostrophe against England at Wembley Stadium, and made a number of breathtaking and almost unbelievable saves. From that point onward he was known all over the world as the Black Spider because he wore a distinctive all-black outfit and because it seemed as though he had eight arms to save almost everything. But to his fans, he was always the fearless Black Panther. He often played wearing a cloth cap of burnt brick color. Yashin led the Soviet team to its best showing at the FIFA World Cup, a fourth-place finish in the 1966 World Cup held in England. Always ready to give advice to his comrades, Yashin even made a fourth trip to the World Cup Finals in 1970, held in Mexico, as the third-choice backup and an assistant coach. The Soviet team again reached the quarter-finals. In 1971, in Moscow, he played his last match for Dynamo Moscow. Lev Yashin's FIFA testimonial match was held at the Lenin Stadium in Moscow with 100,000 fans attending and a host of football stars, including Pele, Yersibio and Franz Beckenbauer. Accolades Yashin remains the only goalkeeper to have won the Ballon d'Or award, which he received in 1963. He also stopped 151 penalty kicks during his career, far more than any other goalkeeper in history, and kept over 270 clean sheets. For his outstanding service to the people and to his country, Yashin was awarded the Order of Lenin in 1967 the highest award of the USSR. Yashin would always organize the defensive game of his team, often so fiercely that even his wife accused him of yelling too much on the pitch. He rarely captained his teams, as the accepted custom of appointing a goalkeeper captain was virtually unheard of in that era, but his leadership on the field was always evident. Yashin was one of the goalkeepers that began the practice of punching balls out in difficult situations instead of trying to catch them. Other novel practices he developed were the quick throw of the ball to begin a counterattack, coming out of the penalty area to anticipate danger, and the command and organization of the defenders, practices now quite common among goalkeepers. When asked what his secret was, he would reply that the trick was to have a smoke to calm your nerves, then toss back a strong drink to tone your muscles. In 1994, FIFA established the Lev Yashin Award for the best goalkeeper at the World Cup Finals. FIFA polls named Yashin as the sole goalkeeper in World Team of the 20th Century.
World Soccer Magazine named him and they're the 100 greatest players of the 20th century. Many commentators still consider Yashin the best keeper in the history of football, which resulted in the fact he was chosen to be the goalkeeper in most of the world all-time teams ever written, including the FIFA World Cup all-time team and the FIFA Dream Team. Post-playing career, after retiring from playing, Yashin spent almost 20 years in various administrative positions at Dynamo Moscow. A bronze statue of Lev Yashin was erected at the Dynamo Stadium in Moscow. In 1986, following a thrombophlebitis contracted while he was in Budapest, Yashin underwent the amputation of one of his legs. He died in 1990 of stomach cancer, despite a surgical intervention in an attempt to save his life. He was given a state funeral as a Soviet honored master of sport. Yashin was survived by wife Valentina Timofeevna and daughter Zarina and Elena. His grandson Vasily Frolov played as a goalkeeper for Dynamo.